This is Lily from Type Romance. Today we're going to be looking at this cool royal sprite. And this is Ailey from Type Romance. Today we're going to be doing a Frisero review video on this royal sprite. This royal was actually made by Silver Seiko in Japan. It was a competitor of Brother and they made lightweight portable machines. They made a few uh, larger standard portables, but this one is a lightweight, full featured portable. One of the things I like about it is the design. Silver Seiko took a chance with the design of this one and it's just really cool looking. It's got the original red plat knobs. There's little red pointers there on the margin sliders. And then red on the ribbon color selector and the touch control. So the red gives it a little bit of pop. And it's just a neat looking machine. It's plastic, but Thing about the plastic is as long as it doesn't get dropped they pretty much look like they did when they came out of the factory some of these the white has turned yellow over the years this one is done well it's pretty much the original white or it looks like the original white one of the keys the backspace key has a little bit of a colby jack look to it that's not dirt that's just the the color or the plastic degrading over time and I know from experience that retrobriding these doesn't really work when it's that dark of a yellow. So we're just embracing the Colby Jack to go with our little sprite. So it's got dedicated one and exclamation mark key. Over here has a tabulator, but it has preset tabs. So every 10 spaces. Kind of nice to have that in a little portable. One of the things I'll point out when I do the type test is that uh, if you're a touch typist and you hit the space bar with your thumb you have to be a little bit deliberate about where your thumb is because this bumps up right against the frame so if you're a hunt and peck typer and you use your finger not a problem if you're a touch typist it just takes a little bit of getting used to otherwise your thumb's going to hit the front frame but once you get used to it uh, not a problem the other thing I've noticed on these Silver Seikos is that the keys really tilt back. You can see that they're not parallel to the ground. They tilt back a little bit this way. Uh, I don't know. I guess that was just an ergonomic decision. Maybe they thought it was easier to type like that, but that's just a, something that's an interesting thing to note about Silver Seikos. The other thing, if you're a touch typist, this... Uh, plastic ribbon cover gets pretty close to the keys there so if you're coming up to type you might accidentally bump it every now and then but once you get used to it again not a problem okay coming over here original red plat knobs it's got a single carriage release lever on the right side paper bale just a flat paper bale no paper bale rollers but it does the job just fine Right here is the paper release lever. If you're putting the paper in and it's crooked, you can just clip that back, scoot your paper around, and then flip it back up. Push and slide margins for left and right, and you can see the little red arrow, like I pointed out, is showing you exactly where you are on the scale. This, this thing has been completely taken apart, given the full chemical clean. These are easy to get apart. There's four feet screws and then two screws here under the ribbon cover. And that's all it takes to get the machine out of the frame. And then this back plate here for the carriage comes off with these two screws. So really easy to get apart for cleaning. It does have a pop-up paper support right here. It just flips up like that. Just remember to put it down before you put it in the case so it doesn't get bent. Coming around to this side over here. You got the line space selector for single, space and a half, double space, and then the zero on there all the way in that position is to release the clicks so that you can go wherever you need to on a form. And then the red dot you'll see at the top if you push the lever all the way. Oh, let me switch hands. 
push that all the way to the red dot that's the carriage lock now when you move the carriage back to the right it locks in position so that it's centered to put in the case and then when you're ready to type just put it on one of the other line space settings and you're good to go I'm gonna hand off the camera to Ailey so I'll pull off the ribbon cover it's just pull straight up there's two posts one here one here those go into these little rubber grommets down on the side and then here's the screw I was uh, mentioning earlier. This screw holds in this little body panel. And once you get the, that screw out and the one on the other side and then the four feet screws, the whole frame just lifts right out. So underneath the hood here, kind of a simple type basket. It does have a automatic ribbon reverse system. You have to have eyelets on the ribbon to activate the ribbon reverse. And if you want to do it manually, you just flip these guys back and forth and that's about it for under the hood just kind of a simple machine but simple and reliable and they're very snazzy snappy typers so I'm gonna hand this back off to Ailey I'll put the ribbon cover back on and I'll tip it up to show you the bottom of the machine so the original feet were hard and one of them was starting to crack so I went ahead and put new feet on and so nice grippy feet keeps the machine planted while you type and we'll show you the case and some of the paperwork that came with it next now let's review the case all right so it's got a plastic hard shell case and I'll tilt it up here it's got this ribbed or louvered plastic, kind of a neat design touch. And looks kind of snazzy with the blue and the white. All you have to do to take it off is push the two front buttons here, and it lifts right up and off. So every now and then I get these shipped to me, and they don't take proper care in shipping, and these can get cracked if you're not careful. This one's in perfect shape. It's been cleaned and it's ready to go. So when you're putting it on, it's got these two little uh, plastic pieces here. And those kind of fit back into this little slot here. So when you're putting it on, just put it over the back, bring it forward a little bit, jiggle it, and then you'll you'll feel it click on the front end and you know it's locked when you lift up the, the lid and the base comes with it. So that's the case. And then here's some of the paperwork that it came with. It's always kind of nice to get the original goodies. This is the guarantee registration. Doesn't look like they sent it in. So originally it would have gone to Hartford, Connecticut. Has the original owner's manual flip out which is always nice to have. Here's a list of authorized royal dealers by state. So we're in Texas. Let's see, where would they have taken this to in Texas? Uh, there's quite a few. So a couple in Dallas, Denton, Fort Worth. Probably not a single one still in business. But there's your warranty and authorized service centers and then finally unpacking instructions so I don't, you don't normally see all of the paperwork that originally came with the machine it's kind of nice to have it and now for the type test so I recommend two pieces of paper the platens on the silver cycle machines are usually in good shape but they're a little hard Compared to the brothers, the brother portables that you see these days usually have softer platens. So you just need a backing sheet to give the type slugs a little bit of cushion. There's no paper guide on this on the left side, so you just line it up and put it in at the zero. So do a couple lines on black. And 
here's the line lock. It doesn't let you type over the last letter when you get to the right margin, so you push margin release to get into the margin. camera off. This types 12 characters per inch uh, elite and you can see the type results or the typeface and the type results look really good. I uh, can't get that focused. There we go. So I've adjusted the uppercase and lowercase letters. No skipping, no bunching. So it's a pretty reliable simple little machine with a lot of styling and I like the it has a really snappy touch to it for some reason the camera doesn't want to focus so very light snappy touch and if the keys jam you just flip them back I don't think that the that's a margin no, it is just like on a brother if you get the if you get a couple tight bars stuck you can either flick it back with your finger or the margin release key does double duty as a de-jammer key. And again, here's the tabulator preset every 10 spaces. One thing I forgot to point out, it has a carriage shift, but it's a pretty lightweight carriage shift because it tilts back instead of lifting up. So very, very easy on the pinkies. One other quick note, normally I replace the rubber bumpers under the space bar, but the original bumpers on these are still nice and soft, so didn't have to replace those. If you're interested in buying this machine, then you can contact us directly, or we can put a link to the eBay sale down in the comments. Thanks for watching us in Hyperider Minutes. Make sure to share, link, like, and subscribe. Bye! Thank you.